Hi everyone, this is Marthi Prasad. Welcome to Eagle Nine Visa Consultants. Today I am going to explain you how to create new profile in new CGI portal. Uh, it, it is for uh, every uh, applicant who wants to apply for USA. Every applicant who already have appointment, who already have paid the fees and wanted to book appointment, or who freshly wanted to start the process, for all the categories. Signing up is one mandatory thing. So we can't use our previous ID and password, which we have used uh, in our old CGI portal. That won't work here. Everybody have to go to sign up and register and create a new login. And mandatory thing is like we have to use the same email ID which we have used for our previous uh, CGI login to create our profile. So I will today the video is all about just creating. A, a new profile. I am not explaining about the uh, categories and how the options are there. It's only about creating a new profile. So we'll start with the website. Website is usvisascheduling.com. Okay. Once you go into that site, you are gonna uh, go to this page where we have to sign up. So we we'll, we have to go to the sign up. We can't use our previous ID and password here. So I am going to sign up. So this is how the page looks. The sign up page looks where we have to enter all this data. And very important thing, send verification code option is there. So whatever the email ID we have used before to create your CGI profile, you have to use the same email ID. Then only all the data from previous CGI portal will be extracted and will be visible in this new CJ portal. So let's start. So first point is like we have to create a username. Username is not a email ID at the rate or any special character it, it won't take. So I suggest you just enter your surname and given name here without any space. So this can be your username. You, you should not use your email ID or at the rate of uh, symbols here. So you have to create a new password. Password is case uh, sensitive and uh, um, we have to use capitals, small numbers and special characters to uh, for a new password. So once that is done, then now the important point is like verification of email ID. We have to use the same email ID which we have used for your previous CGI login. So this is the email ID we used before. So I am sending a send verification code. Now we have to log into our email ID and take the verification code and enter here. So I have uh, taken the verification code and now uh, uh, we will verify it. So now the system has accepted our uh, uh, verification code. Now we have to enter our data. You have to enter the same uh, data uh, which you have entered previously, the name, surname, given name and even the passport number. Make sure you enter the same data even though the passport uh, change and new passport came also, you should be entering the old passport data only because uh, it won't link to our previous profile. Uh, so we have to somehow use the same data so that the system can extract your data. So this applicant don't have surname so I have to go with this kind of approach because this is how we have filled before also. So as there is no surname, uh, surname every uh, there is no there is no surname. All the name has to go to surname, and uh, first name should be first name unknown. And then uh, here we have to uh, answer uh, security questions, and um, make sure you save the security uh, answers. Without this, we can't enter further. So every time we are planning to log in, it will always ask for two questions, and we have to answer them. So I am uh, I will plan to save this uh, so that it's always be available with me and after entering all this we have to go to option called create i'm saving my id and password so here uh, now the proper login page came and now we have to enter the captcha 
and then sign in so every time we are planning to sign in it will ask for the two security uh, answers you have provided before so we'll enter the same and then go to continue So this is the page after login this is the first page it comes this is just in terms and conditions warnings and what to do what not to do and um, then we have to agree for this uh, and then continue. So if we have seen this uh, so for this applicant uh, already a appointment has been booked before. So system has extracted all the data from previous CJA portal. So the appointment date is visible here. And uh, here we are able to see appointment confirmation, manage appointments, rescheduling appointments, emergency, all the options are open. To see our appointment, we can go to appointment confirmation. This is how the appointment confirmations look like. So uh, we have to carry this appointment confirmation for the interview or else if you have old uh, uh, appointment confirmation also you are free to carry we don't have any option to print or download so as of now we have to go with the control p and save it in uh, pdf because this barcode is very important for our uh, in interview and one more update is like the ds160 code what is here if you have changed your ds160 code we don't have option to update ds160 uh, in this portal i don't know why they didn't give that option but if this code is different from the ds160 new application which you are, want to carry to the interview for the biometrics process just carry your new ds160 uh, confirmation uh, at uh, vfs they will update it and uh, you need not much panic about it so i'm saving this appointment confirmation also so this is how we have to sign up for a new CGA login. If you already have appointment, all the data will be extracted and the appointment uh, information will be shown here. If you have paid the fee and you are yet waiting for appointment to book, then we have to follow further steps. There is one uh, option called claim receipt, uh, but as of now uh, that is showing error. Uh, um, embassy fee is not automatically getting reflected. For some people, yes, automatically the fee receipt got reflected. For some people, we have to uh, claim it uh, by entering the fee receipt number and the date we have paid the fees. In next videos, I will explain you that. And um, fresh if applicants who want, are planning to start the application. So uh, for them, I, I will also make another video uh, how to uh, uh, go ahead with it and how, what kind of payment options are there and then how, uh, how we can monitor and pick appointments and um, this is the uh, video only to create new uh, profile in new cgi portal that is usvisascheduling.com thank you i think this video has helped you to create your new profile and uh, keeps uh, following my videos please subscribe i will update you more videos which will uh, help you uh, in um, understanding this new cgi portal and uh, successfully book an appointment and complete your interview Thank you so much.